Good afternoon. Before we start, let's hear from our friends from SM Stationery. Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I am Nitz from SM Stationery and we would like to welcome you all to SM Stationery's Virtual Art Fest. Thank you very much for spending your afternoon with us. Every year, SM Stationery holds this Virtual Art Fest and partner with popular brands of arts and crafts to hone the creative skills of our shoppers. So this afternoon, we have Art Line with us. Without further ado, I now turn you over to our friends from Art Line. Before we proceed, may I remind you of our webinar house rules. First, please remain muted at all times. Second, if you have questions, please type it in the chat box and we'll get back to you shortly. Third, please note that this webinar is recorded for documentation purposes. Fourth, show us your best work. We will be taking a group photo at the end of this webinar. And lastly, have fun! ArtFest is back this year with Artline. Hello, hello, hello! This is Anna and I am your host for today. Artline is a Japanese brand by Sashihata Incorporated, one of Japan's most recognized companies in stamp and ink technology. High quality performance markers and known for less odor. Before we start, let's get to know more about Artline. Artline has wide range of markers, from permanent markers, whiteboard markers, highlighters, coloring and drawing pens. There's always an art line marker for your writing and marking needs. You can use it at home, in the school, your artsy hobby, and in your parents' office too. Art line is present worldwide. For today's product, we will use our number one product, Art Line 70 Permanent Marker, available in 10 colors. It is refillable, it is silent free. Very handy, super bright, and instant drying. Not your ordinary marker. I know you are very excited, but before we start, let's get to know a little bit of our facilitator for today. Our facilitator is a miniature painter, doodle artist, and modern calligrapher in the Philippines. She is very passionate in her art, and she was able to incorporate her love for miniature and doodling in her free-flowing style. A loving mother and wife, everyone, let's welcome Miss Nina Hidalgo. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, kids. Welcome to Canvas Tote Bag Doodling Workshop with Artline. Once again, I am Nina Hidalgo, your facilitator for today's workshop. I hope we all have fun tonight, today. <laughs> so, I know that you are excited and we have to prepare our materials. So, make sure that your 
table is clean and not wet. And also we requested a candle, an ordinary candle for you to, to use today. So I have one, a white one today. We will be using it later. But if you don't have one, that's okay. I'll show you a trick later on. So let's start with the canvas bag that you have in your box. Lay it flat on your table. You ready? You are all so cute. I can see all of you. Hello. All right, so lay your canvas bag on the table. Make sure your table is not wet, okay? And next is our candle. Does everyone have a candle? Can you show me your candle? Who doesn't have one? Okay, if you don't have one, I'll show you a trick later on, okay? But for those who have a candle, what we will do about it is to put it on the edge of our design. Why? Why, Tita Nina? Why are you doing that? It's because it's going to prevent the ink or somehow help us to make sure that the ink won't bleed. So this is our little helper. It's just on the outside. So you can just glide it on the outside of our design. We can start with a koi on the left, on the left side. And for those of you who don't have candle, we're just going to make it very slow. Not really very, but slowly, slowly later on when we use our markers and in the set that you have you also have your markers right kindly grab the red one we're gonna be starting with the red marker so i'm done with gliding my candle onto the sides or edges of the first koi. So if you're done with that, you can put it aside. And we're going to start with doodling or coloring our canvas. And later on, we're going to put a lot more designs onto it. Raise your hands if you're done with using the candle let me see if you're done so we can start oh angel angel is done good job how about the others they're still working on it okay so if you're done grab your red marker and show it to the camera wow thank you amanda angel We're now going to open the marker and we're going to use it. Are you ready? We're going to start with the koi on your left. Okay. My left hand is here. Okay. Ready? All right. So what we're going to do is to outline first our koi. When we say outline, we're just going to glide it inside the layout of the koi the layout is the black one that you can see that's what we're gonna do first so for those who don't have candles what you can do is to do it gently and slowly doing the same but gently and slowly Okay, inside the line, we're going to call it inside the line, okay? Slowly, and we're going to do it on the other pin. Okay. 
and on its tail as well. Just inside the line. That's a good trick, right? The candle, it resists the bleeding. So you can also do that in other artworks that you have. And that's what we're going to be doing as well on the spots of our koi, just inside the lines. Just inside the lines. Oopsies. And do it slowly. So you can make sure that's inside the line. And do you see the spots here on it near the face of the koi? There are three spots. What we're going to do is to color it with the red marker that we have. Fill it in. And the rest of the spots, just lines. Okay? Are we okay? Are you guys okay? Can I see a smile? If you're having fun. Wow, Cassandra, what a beautiful smile. Okay, I'm going to wait for you guys. I'm actually done with my first koi here. And I just grab my orange. Orange marker. When you're done, when you're done outlining your koi, you can grab your orange marker. And what we're going to do is to fill the spots. Fill the spots with our orange marker. So the same technique that we use for when we did the red one, same technique. We're going to start from the outside going in like this. I'm going to fill the outside first going inside so we can prevent the ink going out or bleeding. Okay, I'm now coloring the spots. Wow. Yes, Feng Shui states it will bring you indeed good fortune. For you, a cute technique. Uh, please take a look at the screen first. This is a cute technique. On the tail, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the tail first. What we're going to do is just glide our marker. So I'm just going to copy the tail. I'll just show you before I actually do it. We're going to do this fast, very fast stroke like that. Just like that. Okay. Very fast ang adding stroke. It's like you're drawing a check mark. But you don't have actually, it's, it doesn't look like this. It's just an upstroke going up from down to up. And it has to be quick. We're going to call it the flash stroke because it's super quick, right? So that's what we're going to be doing on this part. Why do we have to do that? So, it will give us a good transition between dark to light. Oh, you know what? I was so excited because I saw all of your cute faces. So, forgive teacher Nina, but you know what? We actually forgot to put the paper inside. The scrap paper that you have, any paper, a folder, a used folder, a paper, 
newspaper, whatever paper you have, just put it inside the pocket of your canvas tote. I was so excited. So just put it in. It's not too late. You can still put it in. Why do we have to do that? So it will help us to actually not transfer the ink on the other side. Para mapigilan ang pag-transfer ng ink on the other side of your tote bag. Not too late, right? <laughs> okay, don't forget, insert the scrap paper that you have in the pocket. And we're gonna go right back into doodling. Remember our strokes? See? See the transition of colors? You can see the dark going light, and you can actually see white here. It's very nice, right? That's our upstroke, and you can rotate your canvas bag a little. We can rotate our canvas bag a little, so I can do it on the other side. Oops. Just like that. The flash stroke. It's a good exercise for your hands. Especially for those who are drawing. Who likes drawing. See? So cute, right? Don't forget, you can ask questions in the chat box. You can type your questions there. If you do have questions for us or for me. And at this point, I, I want to show your progress. Can I? Can you show me what you're doing right now? Can you turn the camera on your canvas bags so we can see? Or you can just show it in the camera. Thank you, Heather. Nice, Heather. That's very good. Rayu, am I saying your name correctly? Rayu? Wow, very nice outlining. Good job. Continue your work. Jean, wow, I can see that you're enjoying the flash stroke. Good job. Let's see here from Mirella. Your name sounds like a Disney princess. Nice. You're left-handed? Wow, very good. I'm so amazed with the lefties. Let's see. Very nice. Good. Who else? Cassandra? Nice. I like your flash strokes. It's super cute. Ganda. How about Amanda? Oh, Angel. Wow, Angel. So cute. Very good. Coloring the spots. Good job. Summer. Oh, I can see confidence strokes on Summer's koi fish. Very nice. How about you? Okay, very good. Outline and the spots. Very good. All right. Now, let's go back to our toad. I'm going to check back later on, okay? We're going to do the, uh, the second koi. On our second koi, you can reverse the colors. I really want to use the orange and red for today because it's so, it's so warm. It's so, it's so ganda sa eyes, di ba? So, instead of red for the outline, I'm going to be using the orange one. But, same process, same technique. I'm going to start with outlining. So, I'm going to show you, for those who don't have candles, I did not light the candle here on this koi fish on the, on the right. So, I can show you. It's just a little difference between using a candle and not using a candle. But you can actually see the difference so same process teacher Nina will be outlining inside the koi fish on the right you know what 
we're going to be doing that on the tails as well. The flash stroke technique. It's nice, no? And that's what we're going to be using to color. What do you call this? Does anyone know what does what do we call this part of the koi? Put it in the chat box if you know the answer. And in here, I'm going to actually color it with orange. Earlier, we used two colors, right? But for right now, I'm just going to use orange. Okay. Another technique is when you actually color the spots, you just have to follow the strokes or how it's laid out. Like, for example, this spot, you can start with the outline and going inwards. And that's it. And I'll show you. There's a little bit bleeding when we don't use the candle. But that's perfectly fine. That's okay. Because it kind of gives a subtle or counting design on our artwork right and as i said we're gonna be using the red naman to fill or to do the flash strokes okay that's for the fins i hope i'm right <laughs> it's the fins ba okay and rotate your canvas bag if you're having a hard time pivoting or rotating your hand. That's perfectly fine. Nice. Okay. While I'm finishing the tails using our flash strokes, I'm going to check on your progress. So, can you show me your canvas tote bag on the camera? Let's see. Oh, hi, Hannah. What we're doing is we're doing the flash strokes. It's a very, very quick stroke. So, you can do that also. Wow, Rayu is so fast. Just have to color the spots of your second koi. Summer, nice strokes. Very good. Nice. How about Kayleen? Am I saying your name correctly? Let me see. Wow. Very good. How about we add some color on the tails of your koi? Doing the same. We're going to do the same technique, which is the flash stroke. Flash, we call it flash because it's quick. Let's see. Fast, fast, fast. Fast stroke. And we're going to do that on the other koi here as well. So they're both beautiful. And did you know that when you actually do another layer, it will give you a darker color of the same hue or the same color. So I'm still using orange, but I'm going to do a, another layer. It will just make it a little darker. So that's another technique that you can use. Are we all okay? Can you give me a smile if you're having fun with our little project? Wow, asinang smile. Let me see. Ooh, Summer is my... Wow, Mirella! What a beautiful smile! Azariah, am I saying your name correct? Ang gaganda ng names nyo, parang tang twister. Ang hirap sabihin. Wow, very good ako, Azariah. I, cor I pronounce your name correctly. Nice. Jean? Wow, Jean Syrah, that's a nice coloring. Very good, confident ang strokes. 
Nice, nicely done. Now we're on to our, the flowers on the side. Do you see those flowers? They're cute, right? We're going to be using the two blues and the green. So cool colors naman tayo, no? I'm holding the light blue. So that's what we're going to be using. And we're going to go minimalist. Meaning minimal colors only here. But it's up to you. You can color the petals like what we did on the spots. But for right now, we can just do the outlines, inside lines. You can do that. So that's what Teacher Nina is doing. Okay, again, you can color it as you want. But since we have lots of colors on our coins already, we're gonna have at least minimal design here on our flowers. And then you see this, a little fold. We're gonna color the fold because it's the back of the flower. See what I did there? I did listen to myself. I said going in, right? But I colored it outwards. That's why it bled a little. But that's okay. That's a little boo-boo. You can do it on the other petal. Inside only. Inside from inside. Going inside. More inside. <laughs> and we're going to continue with this. The, look at the center of our flower. It has like pollens. Oh no, I might be forgetting what I learned a uh, long time ago. Correct, teacher Nina, if I'm wrong, huh? Chat in the chat box. I think this is pollen grains or pollens. So we're gonna use the orange one to color it. If you have the yellow art line 70, that's better. That's perfect. I'll just go back to the folds of the flower. That's what we're going to color. Okay. And the same technique for our green. We're going to color as well the outline. The inside of the outline. And in here, we're going to doodle something inside. Just a few lines, a few stroke. So I color the outline. And then what I'm going to do is to do little strokes in the middle part of each petal. Just to give it like a look of like it's like folded, folded or it has a crease inside the, by the petals. They're not, um, if we want to make it look natural, it must have some folds, something like that. Nice. Okay. And what do we do about the dark blue? We have lots of flowers in here, right? We have lots of water lilies in here. So that's what we're going to be using on the other one. Using the same technique, okay? Line inside. This is a little bit darker, but still has a nice, nice color. The inside of the outline of the petals. Nice. And what we're going to do with the folds, we're going to color it. Okay, the inside. Teacher Nina is going to do it a little quick. Are we doing okay? Are you okay, kids? Are you having fun with our little project? Let's see. Wow, they're all serious. 
Nice, Shana. I'm happy you're using other colors. Feel free to use other colors as you like as well. Can you show me your tote bags? Can I see what you're doing? Let's see. Wow, Shana has a very colorful koi fish. I like it. So creative. Wow, Amanda filled her koi fish with colors. Very good. Ryu, nice. Oh, Ryu decided to fill the water lilies. That's good. That's a good call. Very good. Azariah, nice. Colorful. You love colorful kois pala. Very good. Angel, wow. Angel, I really like the strokes. Very confident ang strokes mo. Very good. Jean, oh, Jean has very nice strokes as well. Very good. So, come on. Let's finish it. And I can't wait to see the finished products. So, I'm going to be doing that on the flower that we have here on the side. The lily that we have on the side. I don't really color the inner circle. That's okay lang. We're just going to outline it. But do as you wish if you want to color it, like the ones that we saw earlier, that's fine by me. Whatever you like is perfect. So I'm going to do that to the other leaves that we have or the leaves or flowers that we have here. And the other one at the bottom. We're almost done. Such a nice project, right? Wow, Miss Nina. Madali lang pala at ang ganda. Super easy to use yung art line markers. Yes, correct. Very bright and tama nga, no? Hindi siya masyadong am maamoy. Actually, wala nga halos, eh. True. Maybe we can pause for a break and have a little game. Shall we? Sure. Okay. Kids, let's have a short break and play a game. Are you ready? Don't be shy. Are you ready, guys? Okay. Let's play a game. Kids, we will have a memory game. We will show you some pictures and let us know which one is missing. Okay. Take a look at the picture closely. Now, ito naman ang second picture. Finally, take a look at, boot, at the both pictures. Spot the difference. Anong marker yung nawawala sa first picture versus the second picture? Kindly comment down below in the chat box. Ask help from your ate, mommy, or tito. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. For the winners of this game, the first five players to write the answer in the chat box will win the following prizes. Five lucky winners will receive one Artline backpack, one Artline notebook, and one insulated bag. Now, let's get back on track. Back to you, Miss Nina. Much. Thank you so much, Miss Anna. Wow, I hope you answered it correctly. Nice. Surprises on our toad. I decided to color that because I got inspired by your color for colorful tote bags. I decided to color as well. The lilies that I have here with blue. I decided to go with blue. <laughs> we can use whatever color we want, right? 
Okay. Now, um, just to give like little flow of the water, you can use the light blue or dark blue and then just put some lines on our koi following the direction let for example this koi fish at your on your left we're gonna do lines curved lines dito sa kanyang fin just two is okay following the curve of its fin right just to show that it's swimming in the water it's inside the water just a few okay you can do little bubbles as well just circles and then fill it in little bubbles Ta-da! nice right is it cute can i see your tote bags let me see how it looks like Wow, Kayleen, you're so fast. Very good. Are you proud of your canvas tote bag artwork? Can I see a smile? Wow, Ryu, nice. Very good. Cassandra, okay, very nice as well. She also has bubbles. I like it. Very good. How about the others? Oh, they're still coloring. That's okay. You can finish your artworks. And you know what? I'm just going to show you. I just can't stop doing a lot. So I made another one, but still <laughs> the same color. This one doesn't have the bubbles. So I'm going to let my little daughter later to put the bubbles. And for those of you who are already done... I'm going to show you that at the back of your canvas tote, it's actually blank, right? It's actually blank. So you can doodle on it as well like what I did on my other tote bag. So I'm just going to show you a very quick, quick doodle that we're going to do at the back. So if you're done... With the design in front, or maybe you can finish it later so we can be all sabay sabay in doing the doodle at the back. At the back of your canvas tote bag, insert the scrap paper that you have inside the tote bag and put it in the middle because that's what we're going to doodle on the middle. If it's already in the middle, grab any color that you want. I want blue and green. I like blue and green. We're gonna do one little rose or maybe two or maybe three. Let's see. I'm starting with the light blue. Do we know how to draw a swirl? I'm gonna grab a scratch paper, paper first. Scratch paper first. So I'm gonna show you first how it's done. So on my scratch paper, I'll show you little swirl. Everybody knows how to do a swirl, right? Okay. And inverted letter C's. Letter C is like this. But what we need is the other way around, which is like this. Okay. And that's what we're going to attach onto the swirl to make it a rose full of letter c's full of letter c's okay are we ready to put it on to our canvas tote bag you want to do a rose Oh, Azariah is doing it already. Very good. And you see, when I flip it back or turn it back, it's actually dry already. So my front design is already dry. That's nice, right? So let's start with our 
rows, the mini rows that we're going to put at the back. But if you don't like a rose, I'll give you another option, okay? Another option. This time, you can use different color as well. Just little daisies. Circle at the middle. And we're going to put ovals around it. Circle and ovals. And we're just going to put it around the circle. That's it. Little daisies. So you can choose either a rose or a daisy. Let me see. Markers up if you're ready for our flower doodling. Wow. Kyleen is ready. Summer is ready. Let's see who's ready. Oh, Shanna has started already. Very good. Okay. And Mirella started already. Nice. Grabe, inunahan niyo pala ako eh. So, let's do the doodling of the flowers on our tote. I'm gonna do the rose. Using my light blue. I like the light blue so much. The swirl. And the inverted letter C's. One layer. And then next layer. Oops. And then another layer. You can do at least three layers of petals. Nice, right? Oh, I can make another one on the on the other side. I'm just going to do another one on the other side while I wait for you. I think everybody is serious doing their petals. I can see your faces. Don't worry, I'm waiting for you. While I'm doing other flowers, teacher Nina is just right here. If you have questions, you can ask your mommy, daddy, ate, or whoever it is that's with you right now to ask questions in our chat box. So you see, you can actually make waves on or curves on your letter C's. That's fine. Okay, I'm just adding a few more. I read something. Who did something else? That's okay if you did something else. What did you do? What did you doodle on your canvas? Let's see. That's perfectly fine. It's It means you're creative that way. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, it's back. That's it. I just made sure that the petals are in order. <laughs> now, when you're done with the flower, you can add leaves. Okay, I'm going to show you my scratch paper. I'm going to show you my scratch paper. To add the leaves, we're going to do triangle but we have to curve it a little like this curve a little and then we're going to curve it on the other side as well to make it look like a leaf and of course the lines of our leaf fun shapes right fun shapes and we're going to apply it on the roses Take your time. While you're doing it, I'm going to add leaves. And we're going to... Is it okay if I don't add flowers, Paul? Heather is asking. Definitely, Heather. It's okay if you don't like to add flowers. That's fine. It's fine. This is just another way of doodling a suggestion. 
that you can use the other side of your canvas. Kasi ang laki ng space niya, no? It's really designed for you to doodle on something on that space. Oh, let's see, Angel. Angel said, there's an, what? Earth and rockets. Wow, that's nice. I want to see. Let's, oh, wow. Look at your creativity, guys. Angel drew or doodled Earth with rocket ships. That's very good. Nicely done. So you can put anything you like, like flowers or anything. Um, Earth with rockets, that's nice also. Or even your name. You can put your name. I can see a tree. Very nice. We can put a name here. I'm going to put my daughter's name on this canvas bag. Just write it as you write it. Capital letter, the first letter of our names, capital letter. Next letters are small letters. So let me see, where can I write my name? Anywhere you like. I'm going to use the orange because it's complementary or it's bagay to our blue. I'm going to write my name. I can see that you're doodling on your canvas tote bag. Very nice. Not really my name, my daughter's name. I'm going to put her name here. Just the way she writes it. That's it. That's her name. Now, I want to I want to see your progress, guys. Can you show teacher Nina what you've done so far? Oh, Mirella, that's interesting. Nice. I like the tree. Very good. Oh, Poppy Playtime. Wow, it's so cute. Oh, there's a winking. Is that a puppy? It's winking. <laughs> it's cute. Rayu, nice. I like your creativity, guys. Very good. Well done. Azariah, wow, that's a nice twist. You added stems. Very good. I like it. Let's see. How about Angel? Miesha, can you turn on your camera so we can see your beautiful work as well? How about Kayleen, Cassandra, Amanda? Let's see. Can you show your works? Wow, Cassandra, that's a nice bouquet of three roses. Very good. And she write her name. She wrote her name her name on the side. Nicely done. Wow. I'm so surprised. Because I, I thought you're going to stick with one subject, but you didn't, which is very nice. Very healthy creativity. How about Angel? I can see Angel is standing up. Let's see. I think he's going to show his work. Oh, wow. Oh, the rocket. Yes. Nice. I like it. It's out of this world creativity. Nice. What else do we have? Who wants to show their masterpiece? Summer, how about you? Oh, she's serious. She's doodling on the canvas. Good job. Now it's time to finalize your tote bags. I'm actually done and I'm happy with what I created. But I really want to show or I really want to see. So show your works to everybody. Wow. Black pink. Oh, you like black pink also? My daughter also likes black pink. How you like that? What else do we have? Mirella. Oh, nice. I really like your landscape. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. I'm so happy. You're making me happy, everybody. Summer is doodling very Nice. Oh, Amanda finished her koi fish. 
if you're done with your koi fish, the one that we did earlier in front, can you show up? us as well the first one that we did wow Mirella nice Amanda wow and she's actually modeling it how to wear your canvas tote bag nice Miesha is asking can I just write my name later after the call sure okay yes of course no pressure my dear you can write your name later that's fine that's fine. Oh, doodled a moon and a sun. Yes, I saw, Angel. That's nice. Oh, your moon has craters. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Last five minutes to complete our doodles on our canvas tote. And did you know, guys, that we did not actually use a pencil? But if you did, that's okay, okay? We did not actually use a pencil. We we went to doodling right away using our Artline 70 permanent marker. Kasi ang bilis niyo gamitin, di ba? Ang dali-dali niya gamitin. So you can doodle more on your canvas later on. Let's see. Everybody's busy. Markers up if you're done. Markers up. Can we color the handle? That's an interesting question. You know what? I haven't actually tried that. But because the handle of our tote has a different texture, it actually doesn't... Hmm. I recommend that we do not color the handle because it has different texture. It's different from the canvas bag. It might not give us the same result as what we want. But what you can do... Maybe try to experiment dyeing. Um, not not um dyeing means to color to color. Okay, just put it inside like um uh, dye color, a mixture of dye color, just until the half of your handle, and then dry it and see. But as for the doodling, I would not recommend it. And ask help from your parents or whoever it is that can help you in your house, okay? If you're going to experiment, it's better to ask help. Always ask help. Oh, markers up, Cimarella. Very nice. Did you enjoy? Can you give me a beautiful smile if you enjoyed? Wow, what a nice smile. Jean, Mirella. Nice smiles. Angel. Nice. Yes, you can wash your hands. Maybe later on, can you give us a few more minutes? All right. And after the workshop, if you're planning to continue or finish your designs later on, after this workshop, you can send a message to Artline Philippines on Facebook so we can all see it, okay? Take a picture of your artwork front and back, and then send it to Artline Philippines on Facebook. Oh, Jean. Oh, she added a few hearts. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Joanna. Oh, I just saw your camera. Joanna, nice. I like your strokes as well. Very good. And she colored inside the lines. Very good. Nice. I can see everybody's putting a lot of designs right there. Very good. Nice, nice. Oh, Diana or Dion. Nice. I'm familiar with the character, but I don't know the name. I wish I know the name. What's the name of that character? Totoro. Totoro. Ah, okay. I think I, I watched that. Is that with... Uh, is that the delivery? The delivery... Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure with the series, but I think I saw that. Are we all doing okay? Wow, everybody's smiling. I like it. Amanda, your camera is frozen. 
but that's okay. I wish you're still here with us so we can see. And there is a cute little baby at the back of Kylie. Hello over there. Okay, everybody, can you show me your tote bags, everybody? Tote bags up. The front first, the front. I want to see your koi. Wow. Take a picture, okay? When you take a picture, you do this so that we can also see your cute faces. Nice. I'm so proud. Rayu, where are you? Amanda, where are you? Miesha, we miss you. Show us your beautiful tote. Nicely done. How about the back of your tote bag? Can I see? I have three roses. And we have the earth with rockets, flowers. Nice. Very good. The landscape. Nice. Eee, everybody's happy. The poppy playtime. Very good. I stand black pink. Yes, my daughter too. Who's your favorite? My favorite is Jisoo. <laughs> nice. Very good. Summer. Wow, Summer, that's a nice butterfly. I like it. Very good. Okay. Now, I think Miss Anna right here has a little reminder from for us. Thank you, Miss Nina. Just a little reminder that if we want to retain the color fastness of the bag, let's try to spray a varnish to seal the colors. We can also iron the artwork. Ask help from mommy or daddy. Put the plain paper on top of the artwork and iron it. If you want to get to know more about Artline, you can buy more Artline products in these stores. Shop online at smstationery.com and Lazada Shop or please visit SM Stationery at the SM Store branch near you. Also, you may follow Artline on these social media pages for updates. Miss Nina, please try to invite our participants. Yes, please follow my social media accounts. If you're into tiny little things, I am also so, so you can follow me on Facebook. It's Nina Hidalgo on Facebook and on Instagram, it's at Nina T Hidalgo. You can find cute little things in there. You can also make cute little things using your Artline 70 permanent markers. Thank you so much, Artline and SM Stationery for this wonderful event. Time is so fast. Before we end the session, kids, mommy, tito, ate, let's have a groovy. Please open your cameras and smile. Tote bags and smile. Okay, okay, show us your tote bags. One, two, three, cheese. Once more. One, two, three, cheese. Okay. Stay tuned for the announcement of winners. Kindly follow at Artline PH Facebook page. This is Anna. Thank you once again. Have a great weekend, Artline Doodlers. Bye. Bye.